In this video, we will continue with integration of exponential functions. You will find this on page 519 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. It's given that the positive constant a is such that, and then I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger to see better, especially the exponents. Okay. I want to go a little bit down. Okay, here it is. I have it now. So it's a to negative a, and there it is 4 e to the power 2x plus 5 integrate to dx equals 100. Show. Okay, and now they give you this value of a. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate. So I'm going to say 4 over that 2 because it's 4 multiply a half. And then don't forget to write the x and it's a to negative a is 100. And then I substitute. So in the place first I substitute a and then I substitute negative a. And then I simplify. Now when you come to this step, I would say you start to have to look at what they want you to come to. So in this case, I can say it's a 50. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and this in one is actually right, I'm just going to first leave this on this side and take this over. So it's 100 um, plus to this minus, okay, uh, 10. Because remember, oh, sorry, I made that line very big. It's 5a and 5a, it's 10a, and if I take it over, it's negative 10a. Then I divide 2, divide 2, divide 2. And now, now I actually can see that, and, and this is what I said, you focus there, that you can see if that inside looks now good. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So now I can go just from exponential form to logarithmic form. And as soon as I see e, I go for lin. So it's lin. And then I just swap that two sides, and then I just divide by two. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number two. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just make it smaller. Okay, number two. I'm going to start. It's given, and again they gave it to you, and it's equal to 10, where a is a positive constant. Show that. Okay. Um, I don't want to make it bigger. I'm just going to check. You can just also. Okay, here it is number 2. So, let's start. I'm going to say, okay, there it is, and then it's a, and then it's 0, and then it's 1 plus e, and then it's a half a, a half x, remember? And then it's to the power of 2. And then it's dx. And then it's 10. Okay. Now, when you come to this, this is very important that you first multiply. And, and I want you to do it on the side. I'm, I'm going to move it because we have, I want to just control later there. So let's just move it, and I'm just on the side, I'm going to multiply. So let's just go here and say 1 plus e, and I prefer that if it's like this, that you rather rewrite the bracket two times. I think it's easier to see it then, to, uh, than to go for the short method. But you can go, I'm just going to do it on the long method. Okay. I'm just going to go to white, I struggle to see Okay, so I multiply and I get 1. And then I'm going to multiply and I get e a half x. Okay, so it was multiply, multiply. And now I multiply, so I get another e to a half x. And then I go to e and a half x plus a half x. Remember, I add the exponents, and that is 1. Okay, so this is like terms. So remember, this is 1, so it's like. So it's 1 plus 1, so it's 2, and keep that e to the half x. It's not multiplied, so you don't add, add the exponents. You basically just add the like terms.
Okay, and now I'm going to put it back. So I, I still didn't integrate, so I keep this, and I just go 1 plus 2e to a half x plus e to the power x. Okay, and that dx, and it's equal to 10. Okay. And now, I'm just going to integrate. So remember, if it's just a constant, then I put an x. Okay, and then, if I integrate this one, it's going to be 2 divide a half, and then it's e to a half x. Okay, and this one is just staying the same. And then don't forget, a0 equals 10. Okay. So, basically, I'm going to substitute now, so a, okay, plus, I remember 2 divided by half, um, that's actually 2, reciprocal multiplied 2, so it's 4e, and then it's a half a, plus e to the power a, a, okay, And then it's going to be, then now I substitute 0. Don't think it's just 0. So it just goes 0. That one is 0. Okay. And then it's 4 e, and then it's a half, and then put the 0 plus e to the power of 0. And now you can say it's equal to 10. And now I'm simplifying, so it's A, so I'm first going to just rewrite this. Okay, that's just 0, but that's negative. Now remember, this, e, this is e to the power 0, so it's going to be 1, so it's negative 4, because, can I just show you there? I don't think actually it's necessary, but I just want to show, it's going to be 4 e to the power of 0, and that's 4 to the power of 1. And now due to that negative in front, I got the negative 4. Did you see? And then that one is just going to be 1. So it's negative 1, and that's equal to 10. Okay, now I'm going to start. Now, now I, I said, and this is very important, that you always check a little bit the others, that, that you check what they want. Now, if I check this one, okay, I can see this, the, the, the negative um, 5, I just want to see, 4, 1, negative 5, 10. So if that 5 goes over, it's going to be, it will, will give me that 15. And if the A goes over, it will give me the minus A. So let's, let's first just do that, just to get, try getting that on one side. Because I see there must be a division coming in. Okay, so let's keep the 4E to a half A plus E to the power of A is equal to, to 10 plus 5 minus a, okay, now, so that's the 50. Now, I'm going to take out, because I, I, I want a at the end again, but let's just take out uh, e to the power of a half a, of a half, because I see there's e to the power of a half a, but let's take it out. So, it's, it's going to be, 4, because that's out, plus, now, and I want to show you on the side again. If you take mm, A and you divide it, because it's E, <clears throat> and you divide it by E a half A, then it's actually going to be E, A minus a half A, and that's E, and it's 1 minus half, it's going to be a half A. Okay, so it's going to be plus 4, and it's E, e to a half A. I just showed you. Okay. Because if you multiply, it will uh, come to that a half plus a half. Half a plus a half a, it's 1. And that will be 15 minus a. Okay. And now, do you, do you see? Then now I, I'm getting this part. This part. So now I can say e to a half a is equal, because now I divide both sides with the brackets. So it's 15 minus a over 4 plus e to a half a. So I, 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 I basically got that. Okay. And now, now, what do I do? 
So now I must first go from exponential to log form, just using lin. So <clears throat> if I'm going to say, in this case, lin, because it's e now, and I swap this side, so I'm getting 15 minus, oh, let's just get in it. Mm. Um, 15 minus a over 4 plus e to a half a and that is going to be a half a mm. okay and now what I'm going to do I'm going to divide both sides with a half this side with a half and now I'm going to as soon as you is multiplying 2 so I will get a is equal to 2 lin, okay, and it's 15 minus a over 4 plus e to a half a. Okay, uh, so therefore, <clears throat> a is equal to 2 lin, 15 minus a over 4 plus e to a half a. Okay. So a is 2 lin 15 minus a 4 plus a half a. Okay. And that's my final answer.